Welcome to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm Curtis Smith, and at this time of the year, weeds are a big problem in the garden. So we've come to visit with Ron Job, Albuquerque Master Gardener, to find out how he we manages his weeds here. And Ron, I see you've got a lot of tools for doing that. Yes, uh, Curtis, I do. Uh, <clears throat> there's a different tool for different conditions in the garden. Uh, according to the soil conditions, tight soil, loose soils, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the height of the weeds, how large they are, how small they are. Some works better, some than others. Yeah, I confess, this one's mine. I brought it. It's one we see advertised a lot. It works in loose soil, but this uh, doesn't work so good in the hard soil. And a lot of times, our soil's hard. Yeah, I've found that to be true. And so, what else have you got here now? Well, this is a wing hoe. This is a skimming hoe. Uh, this is a uh, raker that uh, gets between the plants, and it has long handles, so I don't have to get on my knees with it. This is another skimming hoe. But this is my favorite here. This is uh, the hula hoe, and you call it a stirrup hoe. It looks like a stirrup here. Yeah, sure. And uh, this is one of the uh, pointed hoes I use on real difficult weeds and also to make furrows for planting. That's probably his best use here. Yeah, it sure is. And then, of course, this is uh, the old standby hoe from way back when I was a youngster. Uh, this was uh, the main hoe to use. but. Uh, uh, these work good on, on large weeds mm -hmm. uh, where the soil is kind of compacted. You can but, chop them with that pretty good. Right. But now it, this isn't as big as those big old cotton hoes. No, but this is a, this hoe moves a lot of the earth. Right? Um, and that can be good, that can be bad. If we've got to move earth, that's good. But turning the soil over can be a problem because we bring weed seeds to the surface. A lot of weeds, when they're in the dark, deep in the soil, they won't grow. We bring them to the surface, they're ready to grow when we put the water on them, and our gardeners will water. Right, right. Well, yeah. right, let's go over here and see how these work. Okay. Okay, well, let's see how this one works. Right here, we're in a pretty compacted soil area in a pathway, chopping this plant up, but it's really not uprooting it, Ron. No, those what would are, you suggest? Those are kind of difficult. I, I, I like to use my... Uh, uh, standby hoe, this uh, hula hoe here, mm -hmm. it has a lot of advantages. If you'll notice here, it kind of leaves the soil like it is. Doesn't it turn it over. And then it skims right under and takes the root out. And let's see what happens here. It just lifts right out. And if you right. left it there, it just dry up and die. Right. And then the advantage of this hoe here, uh, many advantages. One is that you can hoe going and coming. You can go this way with it, or you can come back this way with it. And you're not lifting, you're not raising, you're not chopping, so it's easier on your joints. Uh, it's less energy to do it. This one is good for chopping, but you know, you've got to really be working. I always go with a corner because I know it penetrates the soil better. But this is actually more work, and I'm turning the soil over. So now there's going to be a chance for weeds here in your garden where I worked, Ron. Right, that's very true. But it will get this one right here. Now we can also do it this way, use it in pretty much a similar manner. And so we slide under it. We've turned less soil, and that's a good way to use this when you can. Right, right. And your wing hoe will do that too, won't yeah, it? Yeah, the wing hoe is a skimming hoe, and it uh, it goes under the soil. But it it looks like, and it doesn't move the soil quite as much as the chopping hoe, but it moves it more than the hula hoe does. But it still gets the job done on these smaller weeds. And so that's good. So there are a number of ways to deal with weeds in the garden, right? And depending on the circumstances. So right. if you like to buy things, there's plenty of tools to be buying. Yeah, there is. And uh, you just have to get used to the one. And everybody has mm. a favorite hoe. But this is good to get in between the plants uh -huh. like oh, that's this. that's good. And, uh, get, but this is only good for smaller weeds. It doesn't work very well at all on larger weeds. And you may have to get in with your hand and finish it up after you get through. Very true, very true. And there's another type of tool, too, because sometimes you do have to do that close work but with hands. Right. And so you've got some of those tools over there. Let's go take a look at those. Okay. Those for close-in combat. Well, Ron, in, sometimes you've got close order combat, don't you? That's so, true, uh, Curtis. You've got to use these smaller tools. These are some I brought. Some of my, right. This one is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And this is really good for working in hard soil and can skim under plants. Mm -hmm. So again, you're not stirring up the weed seeds. This one's really good. When things are hard, you can hit the soil with that, really break it open. This side's pretty good too, but this is really my favorite side of that. And of course, you really ought to consider this as one of the tools you should have in the garden. Right. With all of our thorny plants and rocks and things. A pair of gloves is real handy to have when you're working in the garden. Right. And then this. A lot of people don't think about this, but this is a good tool to it use. It is, definitely. Protects the knees, and the older I get, the more valuable this thing becomes. That's right. And I see your wife is doing a little weeding right now, so let's go see what she's doing and what tool she's using. Okay. Okay, well, Ron, what's Mary doing here? Uh, she's 
taking some weeds and uh, she's doing some hand weeding. Whenever you have plants that uh, you want to keep and some you want to go, it's almost, uh, that's almost a necessity. So you work around the one to save. Right, right. Okay, well, I appreciate this. This is good to see. This is something everybody needs to know. Everybody has weed problems. Yes, it is, Curtis. So thank you very much, Ron. Thank you, Curtis.